Hello students and welcome. How are you all doing? I hope you all are enjoying your virtual class. Students, I will show you a small video. The earth is sick! We can save the, the earth. earth! Really? What should I do? Hmm... Listen! Turn off the lights! I'll turn off the lights! Don't waste water! I'll turn off the tap! We can save the earth! The earth Recycle. I'll reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I'll reduce, reuse, recycle. We can save the earth. The earth and we are friends. Thank you all. I'm feeling better. Let's throw away the trash. I'll clean up the earth. Let's plant a tree. What did you learn from the poem? We can save earth. Students, how can we save earth? We can plant a tree. We can reduce, reuse, recycle. We should not waste water. And turn off the tap. If we see flowy tap, we should turn off the lights. We should not waste our electricity. By doing all these things, we can save earth. What is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is save earth, save your life. Okay students, let us get started with our English class. Today, we are going to study adjectives. Now, what are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can tell you about noun. So, adjectives can tell you about noun. It will give us more information about a noun. What are nouns? Name of a person, place, animal or thing. So, adjectives will give more information about a person, place, animal or a thing. So, adjectives can tell you how many in numbers like 1, few, many. Adjectives can tell you to tell its shape. Can tell shape like it is round, it is flat or it is a square. It can tell you how it feels. Whether it is soft, hard or smooth. When you touch, it will tell you how it feels. How it smells. Fresh, sweet, yummy. How it behaves. Angry, sad, silly. What size? What is the size? Big, small, tall. What color? Red, pink. 
blue, orange, all colors. How it looks bright, shiny, colorful. So, adjectives can tell you about noun. It are these are the words that describe noun. Adjectives are words that describes noun. Now, in this table, you can see noun, person, place, thing. And you can see some adjectives. Now, in case of Sachin Tendulkar, what are the things and qualities you think about Sachin Tendulkar? Sachin is a good person. Sachin is the best cricketer. Or Sachin is a clever batsman. Then good, best and clever describes Sachin Tendulkar as a person. So these are the adjectives because it is describing Sachin as a person. In case of Taj Mahal, what are the things that you think about it? Taj Mahal is a beautiful place or Taj Mahal is very old place or Taj Mahal is made up of white marble. Then beautiful, old and white. Describe Taj Mahal as a place. So these are the adjectives used to describe the Taj Mahal as a place. In case of ball, what are the things that you think about it? It is a colorful ball. There are two ball. They are big ball. So the words colorful, two and big are adjectives because they are describing the ball. Now let us look into some adjectives. So these are some adjectives of color, size, texture, shape. Color black, white, pink, yellow, brown, purple, orange, red, green, blue. In size small, tiny, little, medium, large, huge, gigantic means very huge, big, short, tall. In case of texture, we use smooth, hard, fluffy, soft, rough, sticky, bumpy, slippery, fuzzy, crunchy. In case of shape, square, round, oval, curved, straight, wide, narrow, crooked, flat, wavy. So, these were some adjectives. Now, let us see some examples. Ram is a tall person. Now, here, tall is a quality that describes Ram. So, tall is an adjective. This is a small ball. Small is an adjective. We get to know the size of the ball. So, it is an adjective. 
Mummy bought five chocolates. Here we get to know the quantity of chocolates. So it is an adjective. My cat is cute, furry and naughty. So cute, furry and naughty are adjectives. Here we did not use comma to separate the adjectives. Sometimes we use two adjectives to describe the noun and we do not use comma. We use two adjectives together to describe the noun and we do not use comma to separate them. Now you are clear with what adjectives are? Okay. Now let's look into degrees of comparison that adjectives has adjectives has three degrees of comparison there are three degrees of comparison the positive degree the comparative degree and the superlative degree so these are the three degrees of comparison why do we need degrees of comparison? It is used when we need to compare things. So degrees of comparison are used to compare. So these are the three degrees of comparison. The positive degree, the comparative degree and the superlative degree. Okay. Now let us see what is a positive degree. A positive degree is used to refer one object, person or place without making any comparison. So in a positive degree we do not make any comparison. For example, Meeta has a big house. Here we are not making any comparison. So, it is a positive degree. The comparative degree. The second degree of comparison is the comparative degree. It refers to a greater degree of adjective compared to the positive degree. So, the comparative degree is greater as compared to positive degree. It is used to compare two objects, people or places. So, in comparative degree, we make comparison between two objects, play people or places. We use than with a comparative degree. So, in a comparative degree, we make use of the word than T H A N. For example, Mita's house. Mita's house is bigger than my house. Now, the superlative degree. So, it refers to the greatest degree of adjective. So, the superlative degree is the greatest degree of adjective. It is used to compare more than two objects, people or places. So in a superlative degree, we will compare more than two objects. We use the, we use the with a superlative degree. So we make use of the in a superlative degree. For example, Mita's house is the biggest of all. So here we made use of the. Okay. So it is a superlative degree. 
Now, rules for degrees of comparison. Positive, comparative and superlative. So, in comparative, we will add er to the adjective. And in superlative, we will add est to the adjective. Slow, slower, slowest. Big, bigger, biggest. Small, smaller, smallest. Tall, taller, tallest. So as you can see, we have added ER in comparative and EST in superlative. Okay? Now, adjectives that end in E, we add. So, adjectives that end with E, we add positive degree ending in E, we add R in comparative degree and positive degree ending in E, we add ST in superlative degree. Okay, now let us see one example. In positive degree, we have the adjective brave, which is ending with E. So, in comparative degree, we will add R. So, it will become be a braver. And in superlative degree, we will add ST. So, it will become bravest. Brave, braver, bravest. Adjectives that end with consonant and Y, we drop the Y and add ER and EST. For example, dirty. It is ending with a consonant Y. So, we will drop the Y and add ER and EST. So, it will become dirtier, dirtiest. An adjective with one syllable that ends with a consonant but preceded by a vowel, we add. So, now adjective with one syllable that ends with a consonant but is preceded by a vowel. What we will add? For example, red. It is ending with a consonant and is preceded by a vowel. So, we will add the consonant that is D plus ER in comparative degree. So, it will become redder. And in superlative, EST. So, it will become reddest. So, in adjectives that end with the consonant preceded by a vowel, we will double the consonant and add ER for comparative degree and EST for superlative degree. Okay? An adjective with three or more syllable forms the comparative degree by adding more and the superlative degree by adding most in front of the words. Now, adjectives that contains three or more syllable, we add more and most in front of the adjectives. For example, charming. So, here in comparative degree, we will add more charming. In superlative degree, it will become most charming. Famous. More famous, most famous, intelligent, more intelligent, most intelligent. Okay. Now, some adjectives do not follow any of these rule by changing the degree. So, now we have seen some rules wherein we get the comparative and the superlative degree. But there are some adjectives which do not follow any of these rules. None of these rules are followed by some adjectives. And hence the words are completely changed in this case. So, in some adjectives, the words are completely changed. For examples, Bad, worse, 
worst so bad is a positive degree worse is the comparative degree and worst becomes the superlative degree here as you can see the words are completely changed little will become less for comparative and least for superlative many will become many positive more in comparative degree and most in superlative degree so some adjectives do not change with the rules but they change completely okay now there are some adjectives that do not form the comparatives and superlatives from their positives they have irregular degrees of comparison now we have some adjectives that do not form the comparatives and superlatives from their positives so there are some adjectives that are not formed uh, that do not form comparatives and superlatives from their positive degree they have irregular degrees of comparison they have irregular degrees of comparison for example much more most so here these are called irregular degrees of comparison we use than with a comparative degree the with a superlative degree mohan is shorter than ricky so it is a comparative degree and we here we used the word than and rita is short rita is the shortest girl in her class is a superlative degree here we used the word the okay students so in comparative degree we use than in superlative degree we use the okay now let us have look at some examples of degrees of comparison so here are the examples of degrees of comparison as you can see in the chart positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree so positive degree dark in comparative degree it becomes darker in superlative degree it becomes darkest clean in positive degree cleaner in comparative degree and cleanest in superlative degree dirty in positive degree dirtier in comparative degree dirtiest in the superlative degree sad for positive degree sadder comparative degree saddest superlative degree simple positive degree simpler comparative degree and simplest is the superlative degree so these were some examples for degrees of comparison now homework write down the degrees of comparison for the following adjectives you have to write down the comparative and superlative degree of comparison for the following adjectives sweet soon tiny bad thin delicious so these are some adjectives and you have to write down the degrees of comparison okay students Thank you